Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming my eye with Benefits FYI. And from what I've used with this so far, I actually really, really like it. So I will let you guys know after I use it more time how in love with it I really am. So far, so good, though. Okay. Next, I am going to take All That Glitters by MAC. And I'm just going to take a large eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put that all over my lid and even into the crease. I think I just hit the camera. Sorry, guys. So I'm just going to put it all over my lid and into the crease. Next, I'm going to take Wood Wings by MAC, and I'm going to place that into my crease on top of the All That Glitters. Make sure you blend it really well because it can create kind of like a harsh looking line as far as in the crease. Just kind of blend it in with the all that glitters. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece of scotch tape and I'm going to put it on the corner of my eye I'm going to make it so that I don't know if you guys can tell on the other side, on this side it's kind of like a, a sharp edge going upward So I'm just going to kind of take the top of the tape where my, the end of my eyebrow is and kind of bring it down and just put it right there. Now I'm going to take Star Violet by MAC and I'm going to use a small eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put this in my crease over the top of the wood wings and the all that glitters. Um, I know that sounds like a lot for a crease color, but it actually creates a really, really pretty crease color. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner of my eye. So we're going to do it in the crease and the outer corner. So I'm going to start with the outer corner. And you're not going to go in too far. I would say just a little bit less than a third of the way across your eyelid. And then into the crease. You don't want to put too much into the crease. Um, it's just going to kind of create like a, I don't know, maybe like a bronzish, a bronzish, a bronzy color in the crease. And then you'll just have the really pretty purpley kind of plum color on the out, outer corner. I'm just going to go above the crease a little bit. I need to throw that. 
And I'm just going to take a blending brush and I'm going to blend the colors in the crease and on the outer corner. Because you want to, this, I know the colors may seem a little bit dramatic for, I mean not dramatic, but they're, you know, the outer edge is kind of dark. Um, but you don't want any harsh lines or anything like that. I'm just going to touch up on this end. And I'm bringing this, I mean, it pretty far up to my eyebrow bone. I mean, I'm still going to use a highlight color, but I'm bringing it pretty far up. So, obviously, you know, I would do this probably more for like a night look, but if it was during the day, kind of keep it more low down to your crease as opposed to bringing it up, the color up towards your eyebrow bone. You don't want to go all the way up. But. Now for my highlight, I'm just going to use, I keep hitting the camera, good lord, this Maybelline Duo in Indian Summer. I cannot stand these eyeshadows, but I figured to kind of use them. I could use them as like a highlight. These are the hardest thing to blend in the world. And I'm just using the applicator that it came with the sponge tip applicator. Sorry. And you're just going to put that underneath your eyebrow, on your bone, eyebrow bone. I actually forgot to do this on my other eye, so I'm just going to do that real quick. I think I'm told, I think I kind of covered up what I was doing. Sorry. Okay, and now I'm just going to go and put on my mascara and my eyeliner and all that, and I'll let you guys know what I use, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and I just did um, the rest of my face. I did my, um, oh my gosh, I can't think today at all. I did my eyeliner, my mascara, um, my blush, my lipstick, lip liner, gloss, all that. Um, for my blush, I use Benefit's Coralista box. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see this. There's a swatch of it in my haul video that's going to go up before this. Um, for my eyeliner, I use Styly Styles Line and Seal in black, which is just a black eyeliner. For my lips, I use my... Annabelle lip liner in, I hope I'm saying this right, Demure, which I said in my haul video, um, Teresa Juicy Tuesday sent to me. It's such a pretty color, I can totally see why this is her favorite lip liner, and it just became my favorite lip liner, and that really sucks for me because they don't sell Annabelle here in the States, so I am in love with this right now. Um, so with this, I don't really know if I like this combination yet, but I, with this, I use the lipstick. I can find it. It's right in front of me. Um, Rimmel's Airy Fairy. I don't really know if I like the combination, though. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to try out a few different shades of lipsticks with the lip liner to see, but I think I think it works for this look anyway. Um, and then just for my eyelashes, I use CoverGirl's Lash Blast Mascara, and that's in black. So, yeah, that is it for this look. Um, let me know how the lighting is. I'm still going to put pictures at the end. If the lighting is still not good in this video or you guys can't really see the colors, um, that's the look. I might just have to get a new camera because I have, like, seriously a lot of light around me right now. And um, I was actually using this camera outside today and I was trying to film and it seems like the camera might just be bad itself. So I might have to get a new camera. I don't know. Um, but I will put pictures at the end of this. Again, this is just my interpretation of Elena's um, personality from the Vampire Diaries. Normally in the show she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She's very neutral makeup, but I don't know. This is just my interpretation. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And there's pictures coming up, so stay tuned for them. And I will see you guys next time. Peace, love, and pug hugs. Bye-bye.